Hi everyone, this is Nat from Studio Hacks. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove unwanted noise from your recordings of your vocals or guitars or anything you've recorded in GarageBand for Mac. Now, if you've recorded something and the room was not acoustically set up for recording, or there was some hiss or some hum if you had a cheap microphone, we're gonna use something called a noise gate. And a noise gate will only let through the sound of the recording and then it will cut out all of the background noise when there's no sound happening under a certain threshold that we're, we're gonna choose. So basically you need to select the track that you want. So in this instance, I have a vocal track and I have gone in and I've chopped this one up um, manually, sort of removed some of these background noises. But what I've done here is I've just left some of the noise in here, um, some breath noises and things like this and I'll solo this track. And then I need to go to the smart controls, which is right here. And then make sure that you have selected the track, which is the default and the controls. So you should be seeing this. If you see something like an equalizer, you just click over to controls. Now here, right above where the plugins, this will only appear on an audio track and we can select this noise gate. We can activate it by clicking in the little tick box. And then the default setting is like a standard setting for a reasonable recording. Um, and then if you put, if you slide this all the way to the left, the noise gate is not going to be working at all. You may as well not have it on. When you slide it all the way to the right, it's going to cut out all the sound on that track. So you need to find a spot where it's letting through the sound and then cutting out the background noise and you need usually around the middle is, is fine but let's have a quick listen to this little area here where there's a breath noise and we'll see if we can get rid of it using a noise gate and so there's a big so there's sort of a breath noise right there right before this one comes in so if i dial this noise gate uh, i have to activate it first if i dial it um too high i'll show you what it sounds like when you've got too much noise gate it'll it'll cut off some of these quieter words here you, your eyes are talking too loud your body down you know somewhere somewhere so that's a very clear example of when you have the threshold uh incorrectly too high on the noise gate so uh, too low, sorry, because it's setting, it's letting, it's cutting off the front end and the back end of all your words. And then if I bring this down, you hear it will cut out the noise. Eyes are talking too loud. Your body's telling me you're somewhere else. So let's see if I can cut out that breath noise. I'm going to dial this up. That's almost got it. Push it up a bit further. Ooh, let's just let a little bit of that sound through. There we go. So let's see whether that's uh, the setting here, whether that's damaged my vocal recording. Another empty glass, another cigarette. The rain is kissing your lips, an evening I regret where half the day's gone. That sounds pretty good. So that's how you use the noise gate. You can use that on any audio track. So I, I have a track up here. Uh, let me solo this track. It's a snare drum. You can hear it's got some sort of inbuilt sort of, um, I think it's some noise basically to make it sound lo-fi. Let's see if we can cut out that background noise with the noise gate and just let that snare hit through. Okay, the noise gate is dialed up too high because I'm not hearing the end of that snare hit. It's sounding like it's chopped it off. That's pretty good. So you can see it's it's let the sound of the snare through, but it's sort of cut out a little bit of that background noise and you can use this on any kind of audio recording. 
So I hope you enjoy this content, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.